Despite common claims of how dinosaurs buried in the Hell Creek Formation lived in freshwater wetlands, paleontologists keep finding marine creature lookalikes, including clams and shark teeth among the dinosaur fossils. If these sedimentary layers represent ancient living conditions, then why do they show such strange mixtures of sea and swampy life? The last time I checked, sharks didn't swim on land. Most shark species inhabit saltwater oceans. The tyrannosaurs probably sometimes went into water, but they didn't dwell in oceans. Yet somehow sharks and tyrannosaurs died and were buried together. Publishing in the Journal of Paleontology, North Carolina State University lecturer Terry Gates led a study of small shark teeth extracted from the Hell Creek. This fossil-rich site in South Dakota once held a famously large and complete Tyrannosaurus rex named Sue, held today at Chicago's Field Museum. The Hell Creek shark teeth look like those of modern carpet sharks that only dwell in the saltwater environments of the world's oceans and seas, according to SharksInfo.com. If carpet sharks live only in salt water, then why did the NC State News reporting this find instead say these teeth came from a species of freshwater shark? The answer relates to the assumption that the fossils at this site and by extension all fossils forms buried in the vast Hell Creek formation of the western United States represent an intact ancient ecosystem. But no normal ecosystem mixes marine clams and sharks with freshwater turtles and amphibians, as the Hell Creek fossils show. The alternative to an ancient ecosystem is an ancient watery catastrophe, known as Noah's Flood, as described in the Bible. Cretaceous carpet shark teeth look very similar to today's carpet shark teeth. If those ancient sharks lived in deep oceans like they do today, then one would need a catastrophe greater than any that occurred today to sweep numerous ocean creatures onto ancient wetlands and mix the very different animals and plants that got suddenly buried in the Hell Creek's dirty sands. This find supports the global flood, and the more discoveries we make, the more it confirms God's word. Thanks for watching everyone and may you all have a blessed day.